okay the symbol of infet and structure and uh, symbol are given here so this is the structure you have two n plus regions drain and source and between the two uh, regions you have a p type silicon fin p type silicon fin on an either side of the silicon fin you will be having gate 1 and gate 2 and between the gate and silicon fin you are going to have a sio2 layer silicon dioxide layer so you can see the structure wise how it is staining usually everything will be a proper rectangular structure but here you see the source and drain are larger in size and in between the source and drain you have a p type fin and now above the p type above and below the p type fin i'm going to have a silicon dioxide insulating layer on both sides of the silicon dioxide insulating layer i'm going to have gate one and gate two this p type layer between the two n plus regions is called as the silicon fin okay so here uh, the uh, silicon fin is very very narrow so fabrication is going to be a little bit tough when you compare the conventional mosfets and diagram you see between source and drain you have two gate terminals g1 and g2 on either side okay so you have two gate terminals g1 and g2 on either side and you have drain and source so the silicon membranes are very very thin and the gate is uh, deposited on either side of the silicon fin so after the spacer formation, selective epitaxial growth of silicon on the extension and drain or source areas is performed to reduce the resistance as much as possible. Okay, so you are uh, careful fabrication of infet is required because the device is going to be smaller in structure and it has to you know, overcome all the properties, all the difficulties when you are going to operate the device at a high frequency region. So the extension of source and drain or then implanted and silicide. As for FT, SOA and PNR double gate structure, the channel can be left undoped. Threshold voltage is adjusted by choosing the appropriate metal for the gate junction. So you can either have the channel undoped or doped. And what metal you are going to use for the metallic junction for gate that will determine the threshold voltage. The height of the fin will be at the end of the electrical width of the device. Indeed, conduction takes place in the vertical side walls of the fin. So usually conduction takes place in this way inside the fin between the drain and the source the drain and source are rectangular but this fin is going to be a very narrow membrane so the conduction happens from the source to the drain through the fin by applying the two control voltages vg1 and vg2 across the two gate terminals of your fin fit so the conduction width is going to be twice the height of the fin fit okay as the fin, as the, you know, the fin fits are very, very small devices. The height is typically 50 to 100 nanometers. It's very small. See here, nanometers. So, so far, in MOSFET, we are seeing about millimeters and micrometers. But in fin fit, we have gone to nanometers. So, usually, you can also fabricate fin fits as a multi-finger transistors with the conduction width quantified by 2 H fin. So, the H fin is going to be height of the fin. So, you can have uh, the height is usually between 50 to 100 nanometers so if you want to have multiple uh, gate terminals then i can use uh, this structure to fabricate fin fets which are quantified having the conduction width to be 2 h fin operation of fin fet you see the gate i am going to plot the gate bias voltage vg2 versus id in the constant vg1 Okay, so the independently driven fin fit, you know, it is a double gate device in which the two gate electrodes cannot be connected together and can be biased with different potentials. So you have two gates VG1 and VG2, right? So I can give different voltages for VG1 and VG2, and I can measure what is the effect of VG1 and VG2 on the drain current characteristics. So you can see the graph here showing the drain current characteristics. You can see as you increase the gate voltage the drain current becomes almost constant or it slightly increases but when you make vgs less or when you make vgs negative the drain current will draw drop significantly okay so this is the drain transfer characteristics of uh, finfet and finfets the uh, double gate finfets are uh, used to construct low power logic gates single transfer mixers and srams so the operation of infet is uh, given here and uh, the application of infet is it is used to construct low power logic gates, single transistor mixers and static RAM, RAM you know random access.